so today what we'll be doing is we'll be learning something which is uh, uh, which is a very important topic in upsc that is about wetlands can anybody tell me from the class can you tell me what are wetlands basically which i'll be teaching in the what are wetlands what are wetlands can anybody tell me what is the 42nd wetland in india after that i'll get back to you can anybody tell me which is the 42nd wetland of india 42nd Can anybody tell me the forty-second wetland in India, which was recently declared? Yeah, the forty-second. Today we'll be learning about wetlands. Wetlands are a very integral part in ecology and environment. A lot of UPSC questions used to be getting projected from wetlands. Okay, wetlands is a very key area for our study. and in 2019 there was a question in mains that was about the wise use concept of wetlands there was a concept called wise use there was a concept in 2019 mains if you look 2019 mains 2019 mains there was a concept there is a ramsar wetland conference ramsar wetland conference okay in this ramsar wetland conference there was a concept called wise use wise use so this was asked in the 2019 upsc mains paper 15 mark that was the question okay 2019 upsc mains question there was a question about wetlands and every year what happens is there used to be one or two questions from wetlands because wetlands is a very key area in upsc as per as per the upsc norms okay so we'll be studying about wetlands very in very detail in the in the in the in the aquatic ecosystems i'll be discussing about wetlands what are wetlands you know what are the ram what is ramsar definition of wetlands ramsar is a, have anybody when was ramsar conference held where is the place called ramsar 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 is a place in iran okay there was a conference in 1973 i presume let's let's go back uh, yeah there was a conference in 1973 in ramsar in iran that it was a, it was a conference the people of the different countries different people you know different different uh, heads of different countries they joined together they came to a place in iran they told that oh my god the world the wetlands of the world are getting being dis, you know it is being engulfed by development if the wetlands are not protected we are going to lose the greatest of greatest uh, ecosystem wealth of the of all the of the of all the countries of the world so they started conserving they made a they made a treaty that was called the ramsar conference treaty that was in 1973 i presume if the date is wrong i'll just correct it again that was a conference that was held in ramsar okay as per the ramsar conference ramsar conference this is the ramsar website site ramsar wetland website okay that is ramsar when you browse the ramsar website what you will see in india if you see every countries there will be wetlands everything will be recorded in the ramsar website out of that the 42nd there is a you know the recently news 23rd december 2020 23rd december 2020 very very important in the month of december 2020 the 42nd ramsar site of india was declared ramsar site of india the 42nd ramsar site of india was declared and that wetland we are going to study about the 42nd there are 42 ramsar wetland sites which i'll be discussing about the ramsar wetland sites in the world ramsar wetlands what about the ramsar wetland conference everything later but right now just understand this environment affairs part the 42nd ramsar wetland site the 40 there is 42 ramsar wetland sites in india out of that the 42nd ramsar wetland site that was dis, that was declared in december 23 2020 that wetland site is called sokar wetland complex sokar wetland complex sorry this is not the thing so that is called the sokar wetland complex sokar wetland complex that is in ladakh 38 38 because Jammu and Kashmir is divided into two union territories. One is Jammu and Kashmir, another one is Ladakh. So the thirty-eighth. So the, just number is just a number. That's all. Don't worry. The forty-second wetland site that is called Sokar. So T T silent. Sokar wetland complex. Very very important. 
that is called the there are 42 just understand the thing just understand the thing there are 42 wetland com sites in india the 42nd wetland site is was declared on 23rd december 2020 very very important that is called the sokar wetland complex sokar t t silent sokar sokar wetland complex it is having two two major wetlands two major wetlands that is in the height of 4500 meters above 4500 meters above okay <clears throat> this is called the sokar wetland complex i want everybody to write this this is called the 42nd wetland complex that is discovered that is that is the ramsar site of india 42nd that is called the t silent that is called sokar wetland complex that is having two major wetlands okay so this is the beautiful sokar wetland complex a very beautiful line it's a very beautiful and that is a hyper saline lake hyper saline lake hyper saline lake that means this lake is having saline water because of the saline water because of the evaporation this is called sokar sokar means that is very much fluorescent that is looking so beautiful that is a hyper saline lake okay it's a it's a complex lake of two major wetlands so you can write this it's a high altitude wetland complex very important that is in the height of 4500 meter it's in the ladakh union territory ladakh ladakh it's it's a union territory jammu and kashmir was divided into two union territories that is ladakh and jammu and kashmir okay in the in the year 2018 2018 it was splitted so zokar so it is having two principal water bodies one is sokar another one is starspook starspook soko okay it's just looking like chinese don't worry about this it's chinese words starspook so okay another one is sokar so this two together makes sokar wetland complex so the wetland complex is having two major wetlands one is sokar another one is starspook starspook so these are the two major wetland water bodies which is being which is in the sokar wetland complex hope everybody has written this very very important very very important the 42nd wetland complex of india there are 42 wetland ramsar wetland sites and the 42nd ramsar wetland site is sokar lake which is located 4500 meters above it is in the in the it is in the unitary of ladakh Okay, Ladakh has two major districts. One is Leh and another one is Kargil. And we studied about the two water bodies. One is Tarspuk and the one is Sokar. And that is in the Changtang region. The region is called the Changtang. Changtang. Changtang region. Very, very important. When we study about the geography, you'll be understanding about, uh, uh, Sharad sir will be discussing about Changtang region. How, why Changtang region? There is a wildlife sanctuary also in Changtang region. That wildlife sanctuary is very much famous for Tibetan ass. Okay, we'll be studying about all this. Hope everybody have written this. So it's called Sokar. So those people who have not written this, I've underlined the keywords. Those people who have not written this, you can write from your friends. Okay. Now this come. See, say for example, when you get the UPSC, you'll be you can take a bike ride to Sokar. Okay, bike ride. You and your girlfriend, your girlfriend and boyfriend. So you can take in the IGNF, so in the in the Labasane campus, you can take a ride. This is around 4,500 meters height. This Sokar Lake, that's very beautiful. Sokar in the Changtang, Changtang region. Okay. So this is about okay. So coming to Jammu and Kashmir, that was divided in 2018, that was divided into two unit trees. One is Jammu and Kashmir, another one is Ladakh. In the Ladakh, you have this. Sokar, Sokar wetland complex that is in the Changtang region. Changtang. So now let's go with the geographic map. So and so the Ladakh, Ladakh is coming. Ladakh is having two states, two districts. So Ladakh, this is Jammu and Kashmir. This is Ladakh. So Ladakh is having Kargil and Leh. In the budget 2022, in budget 2020, 2021, 2022, there was a central university which was planned in Leh. There is a central unit with university which is going to open in Leh. So there are two districts in Ladakh. One is one is Kargil district, another one is Leh district. These are the two districts of Ladakh. Okay. So this is some political things. And Leh is very famous. So in 2020-21, there is a central university which is going to be started in 
uh, which is going to be so there is an allotment for the central university of lay in 2021-22 budget Hundred plus signing schools, one central university. These are all for human capital development under the pillar of human capital development. Okay, I studied in signing school Trivandrum in Kerala. So hundred plus signing schools are going to be get started again because there was only one signing school per state. Now there are hundred plus signing school which is going to be started with the help of NGOs and private, you know, uh, private schools and other things. They are going to collaborate and do this because signing school is running in loss. Okay, so like that. There is a lay central university of lay is going to be started soon. So this is about this is about the geography. So you might have heard about Sokar and Starts book. Sokar and Starts book. They together collaborate. They together form Sokar complex. That is. So again, I'll just rub this. That is Sokar and Starts book. Sokar and Starts book. They together form. Sokar wetland complex that is the 42nd Ramsar wetland site of America. The moderated is of America or it is for India? The Sokar wetland complex. You please answer to me this call, this question because I just want to know whether you are it's audible or not. That's why I just want to check. Am I audible? Yes. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah fine, fine. So the you understood then no Sokar. So we studied about Sokar wetland complex, Sokar and Starts book. These are the two wetlands, the major wetlands in Ladakh. So Ladakh is having how many states? Ladakh is sorry, how many districts? Two districts. One is Leh, another one is Kargil. Okay. So I just started giving. And why, Mr. Ramsar, Ramsar people from Iran? Ramsar is a place in Iran, the headquarters of Ramsar Wetland Complex, sorry, uh, uh, conference. So the Ramsar Wetland Treaty. So their, their headquarters is in Ramsar. There is a place in um, Iran. So they came to Sokar Wetland Complex. They, they went over there. They stayed there. They enjoyed the food there. Then after that, the so you know, the Ramsar people saw some birds. Can anybody tell me the name of this bird? Then they told, they came for evaluating, okay, whether the Sokar wetland complex has to be given a Ramsar site. Okay, that status. Then they saw these birds nearby this uh, this this wetland complex. Can you tell me the name of this bird? I was I was very peculiar about this bird. I categorically mentioned this bird about this bird many times, but because UPSC asked this question three times in the question as well as in the option, they have given the name of this bird. Can anybody give me the answer for this? What is this bird? So they saw this bird, and I'll tell you how to give you how to how to make questions out of this. What is the name of this bird? It's called black. What is the neck color? Black. Black neck crane. Oh my God! The this Ramsar people they came there in the in the in the Ramsar wetland complex. They saw this bird. Oh my God! They understood that this bird is very much important for the Tibetans, Tibetan community, because Tibetans are the second most populous religion in Ladakh. Because the Muslims, Mus Muslim Islam religion is the topmost religion in Ladakh. The second religion is Buddhist. Buddhist, you know, Buddhists treat this this bird as the most auspicious bird. So they came there. They understood that okay, this Sokar wetland complex is having this wonderful bird called the black necked crane. This is very important. This is a threatened bird. So we should give a status of Ramsar site for this Sokar wetland complex. Then they saw this this animal in the Changtang, 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 Changtang region, Changtang region of. Sokar wetland complex, they saw this bird, this animal, this is called Kiang, or it is called the Tibetan ass, very, very important. Tibetan ass. So this, this animal they saw there, this mammal, this is also called the Kiang. So you, these people, the, the Ramsar people were very happy. Oh my God, this is also threatened. Oh my God, Kiang. So they wanted to see this, this, this Kiang is a wild ass. Wild ass. This is also called the Tibetan Tibetan ass. This is in the in the Changtang Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, my God, Changtang Wildlife Sanctuary in the Sokar Wetland Complex. They saw this animal also. Then they saw this Chiru. Chiru. 
Did I tell you about Chiru? Can anybody respond to me? Why this Chiru? Because UPSC asked a question about Chiru. In 2013, there was a UPSC prelims question about Chiru. This is also the, it is also called the Tibetan antelope. Tibetan, Tibetan antelope. Can anybody tell me why this Chiru is very famous? Chiru is being threatened because of one major reason. Can anybody? In my class, can you tell me why Chiru was in news? It was asked in UPSC in 2013. Can you tell me why Chiru? This antelope, this deer, is why it is famous? Yes? No idea. It is very famous because of one thing. Because, because people are killing Chiru for one reason. Okay, one second. Let's go back. People are killing Chiru for a very... See, in NCRT also there is about this. This is called the Sanktush. Sanktush wool. It's very famous. One meter of the wool costs one lakh. Oh my God. People are killing this Chiru for this. So you can write this. This antelope Chiru is being killed for this. The famous luxury fabric that is called the Sanktush. You have studied this in your NCRT. My classes are not from the blot from the blue. It is clearly focused upon NCRT and UPC. So Sanktush is very famous wool, which is extracted, which is being, you know, taken off from an animal called the Tibetan antelope or Chiru. It is commonly called Chiru, Tibetan antelope. So we'll wind up today because it's going to be 11 o'clock. You are, you, are, you are waiting for the next class. So I'm going to wind up today. And I'm extremely sorry for the 30 minutes delay which, which I have caused. If you have to ask me any doubts, you can ask me. So we'll be continuing with this chapter okay, about uh, you know Sokar Wetland Complex, the 42nd Ramsar Wetland Complex. We'll be learning with a lot of fun you know, so that you know, you'll understand the concept in a very exhaustive way, holistic way, so that you can conceptualize the idea when it comes to the prelims and the mains. Any doubts? We studied, discussed about Chiru. We studied about the Tibetan antelope that is called the Chiru. We studied about the, the, the Tibetan uh, ass, wild ass, that is also called the Kiang. Kiang, that is called the Kiang. Kiang, Kiang is the famous, Kiang is a very key, uh, key animal in the Changtang wildlife sanctuary. Changtang wildlife sanctuary is famous for, famous for Kiang or wild ass. Very, very important. Yeah. If you want to ask me any doubts, I'm just going to wind up. If you want to ask me any doubts, I'll get back to you. Yes, any doubts from the girls or the boys' side. So in this class, we we discussed about the Fenman method of you know learning the things. I tried to correlate the Fenman method by you know employing the budget 2122. Sorry, 2122. I started you know I'll be discussing about how to use that Fenman technique in the in while studying the the six pillars of the budget. Which because because of the there is a problem I'll just discuss about this thing. Then we started discussing about the forty second Ramsar wetland site that is called the Sokar wetland complex. Okay, this is what we learned today, and we'll be learning with you know in a very holistic manner in the next class. Any doubts? Meanwhile, if you want to ask me any doubts, I'll just get back to you. Otherwise, we have to wind up. Yeah. Any doubts? Any doubts from the boys to the girls' side? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. It's not audible for me. Go ahead. OK. So I'll just wind up. Since you don't have any doubts, I'll just wind up for today. Uh, sometimes what happens, you know, uh, I'll not be giving sometimes notes because you have to train your mind to write the things what I try to project in the screen. You try to conceptualize in a very, you know, in a, in a quick manner and try to, you know, put in paper, black and white in your, you know, notes. Okay. That is what, that is the most efficient way of learning the things. Okay.